Darius is a shoot -em up arcade game released by Taito in 1986. It is the first game in the Darius series. It is known for using a unique three-screen arcade cabinet setup, non-linear level design and multiple endings. A port by Softech and the Edge was released for the Amiga and Atari Street titled Darius Plus. An expanded port by Bits Laboratory and NEC was released for the PC Engine Super CD-ROM Squared titled Super Darius. Another expanded port was made for the PC Engine itself, titled Darius Plus, which is similar to the Amiga and Atari Street title. A boss rush version of Darius Plus was released under the name Darius Alpha. Gameplay Darius is a two-dimensional horizontally scrolling shoot-em-up set in a fictional future. Uniquely among shoot-em-ups, the game's screen is three times wider than conventional size, and the arcade cabinet uses an arrangement of three screens to accommodate it. The player controls an ornate fighter spacecraft named the Silver Hawk and must navigate through scrolling terrain while battling a variety of fighter craft, ground vehicles, turrets, and other obstacles throughout the game stages. The ship's arsenal consists of forward-firing missiles, aerial bombs and a protective force field, all of which can be upgraded by power-ups that are dropped by specially colored enemies throughout the game's zones. When the player reaches the end of a zone, a boss appears, which must be defeated to proceed. Once the boss of a zone is destroyed, the player is given a choice of which zone to play next via a branching path. While there are 28 zones in total, only 7 can be played in a single run. Plot, Development and Release the arcade game features raster graphics on three court monitors and amplified stereophonic sound. In order to seamlessly connect the three screens together, two of the monitors, which display the first and last thirds of the game's screen, respectively, are placed in the bottom of the cabinet facing upwards, with their visuals reflected into view via a one-way mirror. The third monitor, which displays the middle portion of the game's screen, is placed behind the mirror and is the only one actually facing the player. The reflection of the two bottom monitors partially overlaps the third monitor, giving the illusion of a seamless widescreen. The game's soundtrack was composed by Hisayoshi Ogura, the founding member of Taito's in-house music divisions and Tata. Ogura composed the music with the concept of a large existence, that being the large bosses in the game and the expansiveness of the universe. The game's main theme, titled Chaos, is notable for being one of the earliest examples of avant-garde in video game music. Augur recalled, the first stage's theme, called Captain Neo, is a reworked version of a song from an earlier arcade game by Taito, Metal Soldier Isaac II. When a prototype of Darius was exhibited at a trade show, the song was used as a temporary placeholder. However, upon hearing the song at the trade show, Augra liked it and decided to keep it. I was surprised by its overwhelming power, so much that I could feel it in my bones. The musical score saw its first commercial release on CD, vinyl and cassette tape on June 25, 1987 by Alpha Records through their video game Music Central imprint GMO Records. The iOS, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3 game Space Invaders Infinity Gene, also by Taito, includes an upgrade option to the same craft used in Darius, and has some of the same enemies. Darius R, a remake of the first Darius game with some different tunes and a fewer number of stages, was released for the Game Boy Advance in 2002. Reception